All right, prepare yourself because this is going to be a sad and epic video. And without much talking, let me just quickly tell you what is up. As you can see, all died. He was a mature male, so this wasn't really a surprise and it actually happened like maybe even two months ago. The reason why I didn't tell you immediately, you know that this is the girl that Paul had some hubba hubba time. And the reason why I didn't immediately tell you that he died, I was waiting for her to make an egg sack. And that way I could make it like a happy video because she made an egg sack and that means that Paul's legacy will carry on through his babies. But unfortunately one thing happened. Oh, look at this. This is her mold. Yes, she in fact molted recently. Oh, sorry. And that means no babies, unfortunately. Once the tarantula molds, even if she was spared, she won't be able to make an egg sack. Yes, that's the sad reality. So unfortunately, no, Paul's legacy won't really carry on through his babies. And that is the sad part of this video. But how to make this video epic? How to celebrate Paul's amazing achievement when he, when he was about to get some sexy time with her and she charged at him at full speed and he actually raised up and stopped her immediately without backing out. He was the man, the legend. He didn't give up, he didn't run away, but instead he manned up or tarantula up and stopped this significantly bigger girl than he is. He stopped her, did his duty and actually entertained us. So in order to celebrate that, I want to make a Viking funeral for him. We're going to build a raft for Paul. We're going to push it in a lake and set it on fire. And it will be amazing. You will go down as a warrior, a champion, a legend. In a burning flame on a raft. If I manage to build it, that will be a challenge. I have an idea how to do that. I prepared all the materials that I, I think I need. They are all here. Let me just remove this. So I think it should be doable. Out of these wood pieces I will make a ref base. I will connect that with this rope. We're going to build a casket for Paul out of these sticks with a hot glue. We will fill it up with these thingies that are meant for, for creating fire, of course. And also these... Um, how do you call this? I don't know what's the English. These are like cubes that you ignite and they burn for like 15 minutes. So that is really, really, really useful. So hopefully we should do this effectively. I will put Paul here. I will put this on tripod. And first we are starting off with building a, a casket. Design should be similar like Cappuccino's house. So that means we need to make like a base, a base out of these sticks. And then we simply connect it with few cross sticks. Super easy. One line of hot glue. Yep, yep. And I need one more. Now a few short ones. Maybe with one, two, three, four, five, six. No, oh, five will be enough. And this doesn't need to be precise because, yeah, it just doesn't matter. And actually, I need two more like that. And last one. Now I need to connect them with this base and yeah it will be just oh no oh no i should use more hot glue third side mm -hmm. just a second i need to add one more stick but this glue is in the way come on glue get out we don't want you here and also this glue get out now we add some new fresh glue yes Plop. Now this part can just sit here. There you see, but I need to do the same thing on the other side. Go, go, stick, stick here. <laughs> ah, I got hot glue on my finger. Ah, it burns. Need to be more careful, that's what you get. But there you see, this is kind of complete. And now this, in theory, this part should just... <laughs> yeah, more or less, it will be fine. Now we can put a legend inside. There you go, Paul. But mind your leg. He almost seems alive. And I forgot to say, if you're wondering how I kept him uh, preserved for these past two months, he was in the freezer. That's how I preserved him. So now, now what I need to put, I need to put these, uh, this thingy. They will make sure that this keeps burning. And these bricks that I was mentioning, this will keep the fire going. 
and I will put more more napkin inside. And maybe I should put small pieces of wood. This and tup tup voila, perfect. And just seal it off. There, the casket is complete. I think I did a pretty good job. And let me just pull the first, pull the first. <laughs> now we need to create the, the raft, but I know that I don't have the most, the best materials for that. It just needs to float and burn. That is all that it needs to do. And I think that the wood on its own should float always, regardless, right? But connecting it, it will be problematic. Whoa, amazing. I know that this is not how the raft looks, but I just need to test it out to see if it actually floats. But actually, first... Oh, immediately it is much stronger now. On the bottom side, I will put more of these. Oh, running low on hot glue. What an amazing raft. But the question is, will it float? I have a bucket of water here, just so I can test this out. Let's see. Oh, it floats. Nice, nice, nice. Sweet. That is a good thing. Oh, and actually, to increase its floating capabilities, I will actually add two pieces of styrofoam underneath, like that. Yeah, this thing will now float as a champ. Nice. Casket will go in the middle. I need something that will burn underneath. And I will combine it with these. I need this to burn for some time, not just burn out too quickly. And there we go. Look, the masterpiece is complete. Now, since the raft is complete, we will do one tele teleport. And this was also a uh, time jump in the same time because after I recorded that first part, the rain started falling, so I couldn't really do the second part. So this is also teleport and the time jump because this is a brand new day. As you see, we are here at the, at the lake, some small lake, it's called Yeganish. Paul is here ready for his ceremony. And I'm actually, as you see, this is actually someone's property and I'm, I kind of shouldn't be here, but I initially wanted to record on the other side of this lake. But unfortunately, the wind is blowing in that direction. So if I, if I was on the other side, the raft wouldn't float away from the shore and that wouldn't really look all right. Now, as you see, I have my, my pants for swimming and I'm actually barefoot, as you can see. That way, if something goes wrong, I can go in the water and, I don't know, prevent uh, a wildfire or something if something goes wrong. But hopefully that won't be necessary because I'm not in the mood for a swim. Second camera is over there rolling. Hi, hi, hi. So we have additional angle and yeah, I'm going to take Paul, but I need two hands. And I will just dump him in the water. Okay, okay. I need a lighter and let's see how this will go. Paul, are you ready for this? Uh, yep. Oh, this is, this is actually going too fast. This is actually going too fast. I wasn't ready. Okay. Bye, Paul. Bye. Oh my God, this is actually, this is actually going fast. Whoa, this is crazy. Paul's funeral has officially begun. Whoa. But I think that I need a different lens for this because this is a wide angle and over there I have them. Yeah, I will need to take that camera and bring it here. Oh, it is falling apart. Whoa, look. <laughs> I'm going to... No. Oh, this will... The raft will actually... Oh, crap. I need a different camera. This is a bad preparation. I wasn't prepared for that. Camera one, camera two. Everything is in my hand. Let's go, let's go. Oh, this will... The raft will fall down. It looks like the raft will fall. Oh no! No fall! Oh no, this is a fail. Damn! I think I should go and get him out. The design failed. I, I knew that the raft is kind of too small, but I was hoping that it will work. But as you see, it didn't work. Okay. You just wait here and I will see what I will do. Come here, Paul, come here. Look what I found. This will be perfect. I'm coming for you, Paul. Hold on. Yes, yes. 
I just hope that he's still inside. There's a chance that it opened and it... Yeah, we will see in a second. Let's see what happened. Oh, yeah, Paul is all right. Oh, <laughs> but look how this burned. Oh my God. It's actually started to burn like crazy, but you see what is the problem. You see how small and tall it is. And that's the problem. It is almost tall as it is wide, and that is definitely a bad design. So I think that Paul will get a regular funeral. We are going to do another jump. Okay, I take back what I said. We are doing a second attempt on this. I improved the raft, check it out. Behold, new and improved raft. No, I know what you're thinking. You took an old raft and put it on a piece of wood. No, this is actually much, much better. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. Let me just set the camera up and let's do this. For the second time, God damn it! I guess this should be okay. Can you see everything? You can. I'm gonna put second camera here and if you're wondering what is that noise that you hear? They're actually excavating a gravel over there. So this whole lake is made like that. They're just excavating the gravel and that's why. That's all the noise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I really hope that this time this will work. Starting up the fire. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's burning. Go, Paul. For the second time, go. Go and burn in a flame of true warriors. Oh, yes. Oh yes, this will be epic, I can already see that. Everything is burning as it should and the raft is not drowning. I mean, it is not falling apart and oh my God. Mosquitoes, a lot of mosquitoes here. <laughs> oh, look at this. My God, this flame, it is beautiful. And Paul, you know what? You deserve it. You deserve to go out in flames, in burning flames. Camera, focus, please. Thank you. Whoa. Crazy. And this guy over there in the truck is probably wondering what the F is going on here? <laughs> what is this? Don't mind me, just having a, a Viking funeral down here. Nothing more, nothing less. Can you see it on this camera? Not really. But I have actually super zoom lens, second. Oh yes, this is now much better. Look how much zoom I have. But the focus is not the best. But this scene is awesome, right? It's burning, it's really burning. And now compare it with zoom on this camera, it's pathetic. <laughs> and now it is getting pretty far away and I actually have a drone in car, so maybe... Yeah, I think I should use drone, right? Just a second. I'm going to move this camera on a better spot. Oh, this is even better. Again, I put the camera over there. Oh, I don't want to fall. Put... Oh, what the hell? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Swans. Hello, are you going to attack me? Why are you approaching me so fast? Oh, and look, this little guy. Oh, poor little guy. Hey, little swan, come here, I can take that out. I can help you out. I think that they are expecting food. Sorry, guys, I need to take, uh, what? Wow, why are you getting, you're, you're getting closer to me. Why are you getting mad? I'm not calling you, what? Hey, hey, dude. Brrr. Are you going to attack the cat? Oh, he's so mad. Look at there, Paul, there's Paul. What do you say about that? Do you like my fire? Oh no, look at this poor little guy. You see he got the fishing, fishing floaty thing <laughs> stuck on him. Oh, unfortunate. Come little guy, I can help you out. I'm going to put, okay, calm down. I'm going to put this camera here and I'm going to grab the drone. There's Paul. Paul, where are you? Oh, there you are. How is he doing? Oh, this shot is awesome. Yeah, I hope that you can see me now and hear me now because of this that excavation site is really loud. How fast can I assemble a drone? Let's see. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to need a flat space to launch the drone. Okay, can you see me? I guess you can. Woo. Let's go! There is Paul. Okay. I can see him. I don't really see what is happening down there, but I don't want to get closer. Or should I? Okay, I'm going closer. I'm going closer. I hope I won't lose the drone. Is fire still burning or not? Mm, it looks like the fire is no longer burning. Or I cannot see it on this camera. Okay, it is still burning. It is fine. Ah, the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes. Let's fly over, Paul. But I need to go a bit higher. Okay. Yeah, the fire is definitely burning. Up, 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 so you can see the scenery. And I'm going to point the camera. From here it seems that Paul is no longer burning. I'm back here. 
and now you see this is like I'm somewhere here while Paul is this tiny little dot and we are going higher 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 so you can see the entire lake yeah now we have the better look over there this on top this is the excavation area oh no battery is low on camp ah oh, okay I'm going back I need to go back never mind if I can actually find where I exactly am oh I see there's the Dan Wen yeah, okay, okay, battery is low, I know. We are going to land on a Dan Wen. At least I will try, I don't know. Now I see next time I'm doing this type of video, I definitely need... Oh, shut up. I definitely need a GoPro camera on top of my head. That way you can see what I'm looking at. I can hear the drone. Just a second, I need to be careful because we are getting closer. Okay, okay, I think I, think I got it. Okay, I'm going there, just a second. And how is Paul holding? Yeah, he's still over there. Uh, yeah, but now you see? We have another problem with the raft design. Since I put that wood board on the bottom and put the raft on top, the raft burned, but wood is still floating. And that is not how I wanted this to end. I wanted it to just burn down. I mean to burn and sink. But now it just burned and it's still floating. And it is all the way down there, so I cannot really reach it. I guess Paul's ashes will continue to float endlessly on this calm lake where he will guard all the mature males. I mean, from this lake he will establish his presence and therefore his aura will guard all the other mature males that we will have in the dark den. He will give them courage and strength to conquer all the thick females that they will encounter in their path. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. I hope that you enjoyed this video, even though it was really, really messy. I definitely want to do it again and better. But until then, if you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!